This is the start of a two-day trip where three dudes are gonna go fish some grass flats that we've never ever fished before. We may not make it back. Honestly, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, we are in Corpus Christi and I love traveling. Whenever we get to go do something like this, it's like uh, we're born again kids and uh, it's like nothing but unadulterated fun. So hope y'all are going to be able to enjoy this. Is it two day? It's a two day trip, not three days. I got my boy RX Angler right back there throwing a huge shout out to Adam Howard. He's a patron to the channel and it's because of him that this is even happening. So Adam, thank you for booking this room for us. We are going to hopefully not disappoint and uh, be able to catch some donkeys. Good morning, everyone. We are in a new month. It is now November, and that means a new lure challenge. I have been uh, asked to fish this right here. So it is the Strike King Redfish Magic Spinnerbait. I selected the color white because I think it's just like a versatile color, and especially us going into the colder weather, uh, this should definitely get bit. The only thing that I would love for this thing to have is like a chartreuse tail to just get their attention, but we'll see if this thing is gonna work. Oh, sheep's head. There's sheep's head coming after it. Turned around. Okay, so that's good to know. Uh, what we're gonna do, switch it up. We're gonna go to the Strike Pro, the Hunchback. That definitely got sheep's head to try to chase after it. Here we are. And this should hopefully keep us from getting hung up inside the, the weeds as well, all that grass. Oh, look at that. First cast. And they freaking just nailed it. I don't know what it is, but he just nailed it quickly. Speckled trout. Mm -hmm. Tried to kill it. He's a undersized, but <laughs> it was been it's been quiet all day long until this fella. Man, I just barely started reeling the lure back in and this guy nails it. Okay, let's get the pliers. All right, there we go. Whoa, 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 little guy. Hold on. We're gonna let everybody take a look at you. Small little fella, undersized trout. There he goes, fishing these grass flats. Uh, the water is super clear. So it's just a little bit different than what we're used to. This is kind of Port O'Connor style clear water. And I'm hoping for a little bit bigger fish though. I mean, first time out here fishing, in case y'all didn't know, we're in Corpus Christi, Texas. And actually, uh, it's not Corpus. This is Mustang Island. We're on the grass flats. Seeing what this is all about. Casting with the wind. So that's an extra long cast. I think that's going to be my uh, little plan. Is to power pull down. Fan cast the entire flat. Move a little bit. Power pull down again. And just repeat until we see... Uh, what we can get. I saw a huge red just swimming on this flat and next thing you know I spooked him. I didn't actually see him until he was spooked.
There we go. That is the first keeper trout of the day right there. Inside the channel, this guy is gorging himself on some nice, nice size bait. Uh, he's spitting it all up. Let's take a look at how big he is before we put him back. Man, at least it's not gonna be a total waste. Let's see. 16 incher right there. Pinch tail. 16 inches beautiful fella very lively got some really nice clean water right at the drop that there's the whole grass flat right over there and i'm just casting towards it and bringing it back out fishing's pretty tough whenever you don't know how to approach a certain situation and uh, i'm not used to fishing out here just keep on though we'll keep at it Maybe we'll string together a few more. That's the first keeper of the day. That's very encouraging. One eighth ounce spoon. Silver variety. Good for speckled trout. Spanish mackerel. And just about anything out there, honestly. Clip the tag end. And we are ready to go. Guarantee we're gonna get us a trout like quick too. They're thick as thieves inside here. Okay, now that should sink. There we go. What I tell ya? It's a little dinker. Come here, stinky dink. Settle down, settle down. Hey, ain't no rodeo over here, buddy. All right, we got his gill. Gotta hurry up and get him undone. There we go. Get out of here. Go tend to that flesh wound. Come on. Just trying to look for the bigger variety. Right there. That's another same size. Uh, one after another it's going to be with these same size fish the bigger ones bro just chill chill out and then I can get you off there we go just hoping for a bigger fish that's all we need look at that <laughs> boy there are tons of these guys out here my gosh This one's a little bit bigger. Not that much, but just a tad bit bigger than the other two. I think that's gonna be it for the fishing portion of the day. Uh, the weather just didn't cooperate. It's very tough fishing out here. Wilson's cut y'all leave a comment down below. Let me know if this is even good fishing in this area uh, We saw them, but they were few and far between so that's gonna be all we're gonna Go uh, load back up head in get something to eat probably go over to a tackle shop to where I can purchase The reel for the month of November that I'm gonna do a review on so uh, Yeah, we'll come back at you later on. I'm not too sure about tomorrow even though we are going to be in town, the weather is supposed to be raining and the winds are supposed to be a lot higher. Breakfast out of the way and we are now leaving our awesome accommodations to start the long drive back home. But uh, first we're going to, I don't know, we, we may mess around in town just for a little bit. Uh, it was awesome coming out here. Conditions could have been a little bit better, but it's just the way it goes sometimes. So uh, we say goodbye to the hotel room and uh, hit the road. When we come out here, we had like gale force winds. Take a look at the flags right behind me. That's what we've got right now. Zero winds, Ugh, just eats at me. So I know what y'all are saying. Why don't you go fishing right now? Well, it's because in a couple of hours there is a massive thunderstorm that's gonna just drop on us and we can't do that. 
So I want to thank y'all for watching and until next time, tight lines.